Anambra Hoodlocks Bomb Police Stations. Hello, viewers. Welcome to my noble channel. We are will tell you the truth the way things are. And please do not forget to like this video. Share it so that people will watch. It's very important. Now let's go on with the news in detail. On this, this fire, the hoodlums have burned down the police station in Nomuchu, Agata local government area of Anambra State. Daily Post gathered that the incident happened on Saturday, on Sunday, I mean afternoon, after the time of filling this report, no casualty was reported as a result of the attack. The station was destroyed during the NSAS protests in 2020, but was recently renovated by members of the Omuchu Improvement Union. Now, Manassas, contrary to what you just listened to, I am going to be the one to tell you the truth. What is happening in Igbo land, in fact, in Anambra State. Police may come out and lie from the other side of the mouth. Soldiers may come out and lie from the other side of the mouth. Even the so-called press people. Some of them know the truth, but they continue to lie because they want to implicate some people. They are not playing politics with the life of people. Everything happening today in our land is a, a work planned by some lunatics who believe they can do whatever they want. Politicians. They are now burning down their own police station. Yes, they had me right. Soldiers are now burning down police stations in our land to enable them to get the fat to nail innocent people who doesn't even know what is going on. Ever since they kidnapped Mazin Namdekano, Nigerian government A.K.A. Buhari government has continued to kill innocent Igbo youth. And whenever they kill, they will tell you they are bandits. I don't know when Igbo started having bandits. They are the ones who have bandits from barrier to terrorist. Upon that, they have not killed any of them one day, but they have come to kill the Igbos. The station being burned down for some time now in Igbo land is being burned down by Nigerian soldiers and DSS. In fact, DSS have been the ones dressing on black as assassins to murder people in Igbo land. And after that, they will tell you it is unknown government. Who are the unknown government? Who are the unknown government? They are DSS. DSS are the unknown government in Igbo land killing people. And soldiers are adding them to burn down police station. And after that, they will put the blame on innocent indigenous people. Take it from me. What I'm telling you today is the truth. The regist. I have my fact. Those giving me information. Soldiers are being the ones collaborating with DSS to burn down police station in Igbo land. They are doing that for a reason. If you can see, you will find that at some time now, both some places in Enugu State, no person is living there anymore. They have chased them out so that their flan enhancement will be advancing. The mistake those useless governors in our land made was to, to tell Buhari to give, send the military men into our land in the first instant. That was the mistake. That is why you see our land today in this array. And they know it, but they will never admit that. Because they are politicians who are nothing but criminals. If you don't know it now, politicians are the real criminals we have in Nigeria. They go on and on to accuse people. 
of criminality or right? they are the fathers of the criminals they are the criminal the criminals you can see most of their children don't even have job on that they are spending millions when you see them in diaspora they are spending hundreds of thousands in dollars just for one night in a bar in a club these are the people who are the real criminals and they have been the ones recruiting criminals to torment our land i'm telling you the story the real true story what about what they wrote Nigerian journalists are just so robust. Stam journalists that whenever they give them money, they start publishing nonsense. That's the truth. But not all of them. Nigerian government has destroyed Ibo land. When Mietiala was telling you that uh, he is going to recruit Thousands of vigilantes in your land, in your own land. A stupid man from pit of hell who come from the north want to recruit vigilantes in your own land. He was not saying that he is going to come to by himself and recruit it. No. He paid David Omahi with the help of Buhari to establish a vigilante which happened to be a bago. And not some of others a bago are killers of their brother they have been the one killing our brothers with the help of military everything was planned that is why some of those are not even Igbo people as the video my today the people you recruited as a bag who the hell are they he can't explain he will continue to pretend this is because all of them few of them mean are not Igbo's but some of them are Fulani. Some of them are from our neighboring brothers, Niger Delta. Time has come for us to tell you the truth so that you will understand what is happening. If you continue to leave this Igbo governors, believe me, our unborn children will continue to suffer what we have suffered. Because they don't have your interests at heart. Wherever they are, all of them, not only in Ibo land, even in other places. The expression runs in their blood. They would like to believe that by all means, even when they know they can't be able to do the things leaders do. This is the truth. And I think I've come to the end of this news. Do not forget to share. Cheers.